Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today, we're going to be connecting our PS5 controller to our PC. This works with any game, but this tutorial will be specifically for Warzone. In this method, we'll be using an application called DS4. This is going to help people who have had trouble connecting their controller using the X360CE method. So you could use this method using a USB-C cable or you could use Bluetooth. For me, I'm going to want to connect this via Bluetooth. In order to do that, go into your search bar, type in Bluetooth, and then click on Bluetooth and other devices settings. Next, you're going to click on add Bluetooth or other device. Click on Bluetooth and hold down the PlayStation button and this button at the same time to put it into pairing mode. Now your PC should pick it up. It's at the very bottom right here. Go ahead and click on wireless controller. And now your wireless controller is connected to your PC via Bluetooth. Once you're done, hit done. Go ahead and close this application. Next, what you want to do is go to your browser, go to this website. I'll leave a link down below. Scroll down and click on the most recent version of DS4 Windows and hit save. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and open up the zip file and extract it to somewhere where you can find it. Now, after you extract it, go ahead and find it in your folder that you extracted it to. And go ahead and double click on the DS4 Windows application and run it. It's going to ask you whether you want to pick the program folder or app data. If you're not sure of which one, go ahead and click app data. It's going to download like a regular application. And it'll pop up with something like this. So if it is connected via Bluetooth, you'll have a little Bluetooth sign there. If you're connected via USB, it will show a different symbol. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and put this back to the default setting. So the things and the settings that I did in order to make this work is first off, go into settings. Be sure to click on run at startup so the application starts up when Windows boots. Next, go ahead and click start minimize so it stays in your taskbar when you're not using it. Other than that, go back to profiles. You're going to want to create a new profile. It's going to ask, do you want to use a preset option? Go ahead and click no. And under here, go to the others tab. Scroll down or at the very bottom, you'll see emulated controller. It says Xbox 360. Hit the drop down menu and select DualShock 4. Once you have that, Go back to touchpad, under output mode, click on controls, and at the very bottom, click on pass through click action DS4 mode. Once you have that saved, name your profile, whatever you want. I'm just going to title mine PS5 and go ahead and hit save. Last but not least, be sure. Under controllers, you go to the selected profile right here and click on the drop down menu and select PS5. Once you have done that, go ahead and minimize the window. Go ahead and open up Warzone. Last but not least, if you have been playing keyboard and mouse, be sure to click on options, go under your general tab and click on controller as your input device. Now, you should be able to use your PS5 controller for Warzone. This method is great because not only does it allow you to use your controller for Warzone wirelessly, I hope this video was useful. If it did, be sure to like, subscribe, comment that it helped, and be sure to share with a friend. Other than that, thanks for watching and have a nice day.